hey everybody how you doing this is about to be a really fun video so if you know me or you've been around the channel for a while that you would know i'm a big 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 time deer hunter a lot of people say their favorite time of year is christmas or holidays or the birthday my favorite part of the year is deer season and on this property right here i've got a few cameras out i have not checked them since january when deer season ended and this is what it's my goodness it's august and it's so humid out here my lens is fogging up it'll be all right but last year i did a little lot better job managing this property here and checking the cameras and all that yada yada but this year i've been so focused on cranking out a bunch of awesome youtube videos for you guys to watch i kind of neglected this property a bit if i had to guess i'd say probably the batteries might be dead in all of them on this property i think i got three different cameras but I'm gonna run out there, show you guys the spots real quick. This is a spot I'll probably be deer hunting off and on this year. Probably bow season, maybe some gun season. But I'll show you the cameras, and then when I get back to the house, I'm gonna show you guys some of the footage, just some of the highlights. Hopefully there's some big bucks on there. I can just about guarantee you there's gonna be some turkeys on there, and some does and some fawns. But that's enough yapping. Let's get into the woods. I'll show you guys some of these spots. Don't tell anybody, those are my secret spots. And yeah, after that, I'm gonna get into the house tonight and just show you guys some of the highlights. Normally I would just flip through them with you guys on a laptop, but since I haven't checked them since May, or since January, there's gonna be a ton on here. So yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so there's one of my cameras right there. The ground's actually all kinds of torn up through here, so. That's probably a good sign. Hopefully, when we get back to the house tonight and I check the card on this one, it's going to have all kinds of stuff. The ground's all torn up. Hopefully, that means there's been a bunch of big monster deer coming through here. But I want to open this up and see if it's even working. I can just about guarantee you the batteries are dead. <clears throat> well, oh, there's actually a red light. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, the screen came off for a blip, but batteries are dead on it. Cards in it, batteries in it. Nobody stole it. Stole it. Better not be stealing it, but had it happen before. But let's uh, let's go run over and check the other cameras quick. All right. So this one is my secret, secret spot. And I'm whispering right now because my heart is racing 100 miles an hour. Walk into this spot. This spot I actually have a stand up. See if I can show you guys. Yeah. Right there I've got a two man stand. But I'm out of breath. And my heart's racing 100 miles an hour because there's tons of big tracks right in front of this stand. And let me show you my mineral lick here. Look at how they're digging a big hole there that's about five feet long and maybe three feet wide where they're literally digging a hole there and they've knocked some of my rocks down in there but this is one of my mineral spots and there's tracks all in it so i'm definitely gonna put some more mineral mineral out here and i'm gonna try to not touch this spot until bow season Maybe even gun season, but we'll see. I'm not super hot on bow hunting, but I do it sometimes just because you can get the deer before they're spooked. But if we have some buck pictures, we're definitely gonna probably hunt this spot in bow season. But let me see if this camera's on. I'm so excited, I forget what we're doing. So here's this camera. This is just a super cheap Walmart camera here. Is it still on? This one still works. That's unbelievable. Yeah, check that out. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I guarantee you that this card is full. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off and pull the card and we'll check all these later. But super excited for this spot. That's ridiculous that the deer are coming through here, it looks like, all the time. Super excited. 
All right, man, that's a mosquito I'm trying to ring my ears. But I forgot I have four cameras on this property. And I just got to the third one. Almost forgot about the fourth one. We're going to have to go back because it's way back in the woods. But same time of day, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, this spot in the summertime and the fall, the canopy's real thick, so it's real cool down in this spot. And if you look behind me, can you hear that? The creek runs almost year-round right here. So this is the camera I'm most excited to check because of this water. I know for a fact the deer are going to be coming through here. It's right along a pinch point on a fence line. And yeah, last year we had big bucks on this camera. So here's the third one here. It's still here. Nobody stole it. Yay. I get that poison ivy branch off of it. Open it up. This one's pretty slick. I don't even remember what brand this is. What's it say on there? Gosira. But this one actually has a screen on it, so if it has any batteries. The screen might come on. Eh, looks like the batteries are kaput. Oh wait, no, it's coming on. That still has 30% battery, y'all. Well, let's see if I can remember how to play this. No, 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 we don't want auto work mode. All right, y'all. I figured out how to work this one with the screen, and I found something I'm not too happy about. Trespassers. And this is about 50 yards from a ton of no trespassing signs. So, probably have to gonna go post this on the internet. Well, you know what? I would won't, because that'll probably provoke some idiots to come say, oh, he says no trespassing, let's go trespass. But you see there, there's kids on it. 7 o'clock at night, right there. Uh, it's hard to see, but there's a dude right there. That's a picture. This is a video. Let's see if we can hear him. Yeah. Let's watch this video of these trespassers on my land. Uh, I can't stand that. No reason to be back here, guys. I'll tell you, that's one thing that really gets on my nerves. Irks me. Does not blow my hair back. Trespassers on my property. Gates closed. First of all, how are you getting here? You're jumping fences. So, that's pretty stupid. Nobody asked me to come back here. And, yeah, tons of no trespassing signs. So, not cool. Not happy about that. Had problems with that quite a bit last year. Ooh, not cool, guys. Y'all can see I'm sweaty now. This is way back in the woods, but check this spot out. Here's the camera, but this one runs along the creek, and this is another deeper pocket where there's almost always at least a little bit of water coming out of these creeks back here, so. Last year, I had a couple big bucks. One in particular that was on this camera that wasn't on any of the other cameras, so. Hopefully, this camera is gonna have some big deer on it too. I promise you don't have deer on it. I don't know about big deer, but yeah. Back here, right there, is a deeper pocket of water. So, it's a good spot. Let's, uh, after this, I'm going to cut to the highlights of all the footage and uh, show you a close-up of all the critters we got pictures of and maybe even the pictures of those trespassers. Hey everybody, now I'm going to show you what I found on all four of those cameras. And like I've said before, deer season, it's my favorite time of year. I love to check the trail cameras. I actually think that's why I didn't do so hot last year is because I was checking my trail cameras too often and leaving too much scent behind and yada 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 but we're not gonna do that this time but let me jump right in i'm gonna show you over my shoulder all of the highlights there were literally all combined four or five thousand pictures and videos so i spent i don't know two hours thumbing through them and i'm gonna show you some of the most exciting some of the worst 
some of the craziest stuff that I found. Everything, I mean, these pictures made me super happy, almost cried. They made me mad. They made me sad. They made me smile. And I'm going to share that with you guys. This is going to end up being a long video, but that's all right. I'm going to zoom you in. All right, so first one we looked at was the split. And like I said, I've got some of my favorite pictures here. Actually, let me go back. Hey, you guys can see a reflection of me in there while the screen's black. Let me order these by details and we'll do them in order by date. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them as we see the pictures. Pop up. Here we go. So, coyote. Right off the bat. Not good. We need to do some coyote hunting. And we got a deer. A little spike buck there. This is in February, so hadn't lost their antlers yet. Then there's me. And I'm going to tell you what I was doing after we look at the next one. I knew there were trespassers back on my land. This is on the 15th of February. Here's me on the 14th going back with my rifle trying to find these jokers. And look, on the 15th, here they come. Look at full backpacks, water bottles, and everything. These homeboys, three dudes are just standing there trespassing on my property and I knew they were back there but I wasn't home when they went in through my property and I wasn't home when not when they left these guys were camping on my land for three days I even called the law out and everything it was a bad deal but got them on my cameras and here it's kind of hard to see but there's two bucks and they look pretty decent and it looks like there might both be about six pointers but they're kind of far away and it's kind of hard to see and that was in February. There's three does in the dark. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see their eyeballs are popping up. Here's a doe, February 26th. Two coyotes at nighttime in the same picture. That's at 10, 11 p.m. Then we got two does here in March 19th. We've got a buck who lost his antlers. You can see the little nubs there on his head where his antlers have fallen off. And that was March 20th. And here we go. Here we got some turkeys. Randall's been asking me about do I got turkeys. Yeah, boy, I got turkeys. Here's a deer. That's on April the 25th. Another deer. This is all grass that I planted a food plot. See how it grew back up after the winter. That's May the 7th. May the 19th. Look at that, Bobcat. How cool is that? And this joker like poses for the camera. Look at that. Look at that right here. Stands up on his hind legs. Bobcat. And that looks like a pretty small one. There he goes again. Here's a buck. This is June the 11th with his antlers starting to grow. That might be the same deer. That's in July the 3rd. Bigger antlers. See that buck slicking on the branches there. And here's a mama with a baby. I love to see the fawn pictures. Love, love, love to see the babies. Then look at that. Ooh boy. You guys see him? Look at that. Yeah. Nice little eight pointer growing here. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to try to pop a bullet in that one this year. If I see him, I'll shoot him. Better, uh, better believe that. But yeah. That was on July the 7th. Here he's coming in. Oh, that's a beautiful deer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got good straight brown tines and then three more. So it's a good eight pointer. That's him. That was July the 7th. And here's here he is over here. Here's his little buck friend over here too. Traveling together, a bachelor group. He's going to be a good eight pointer. And that's a six pointer. So, pretty sweet. July 7th. There they are. And there's a little BB again. July the 19th. I love seeing the baby deer. Is that all of them from this camera? No, there's more. No, that must have been the last one I saved from this camera to show y'all. 
1339 yep that was the last one next one we looked at was buy my deer stand and all those files got corrupted so i'm gonna try that i reformatted that card hopefully the camera's still working but we're gonna find out the next one we looked at was this one and this is the one where i said that hey there's trespassers and guess what i got video of these people and come to find out some of them were my neighbors so I'll talk to them today. That ain't no big deal. The neighbors back there, but I don't like random people being back there. You know what I'm saying? So what do we got here? But check this out. These are people that I do not know, like middle school age kids. And this is what? It's almost six o'clock at night. Look, kids just going through there. Not cool. Not cool at all. And here's the lady. There's like a soccer mom lady looking like she's like 40 years old who brought these five or six kids out here trespassing and what's messed up when i say trespassing they're jumping barbed wire fences where i have signs all over the place that literally says private property no trespassing so what kind of soccer mom lets a bunch of kids jump over a fence onto somebody's land they don't even know i own the land and i don't know these people nobody came up and asked me if they could go trespassing in my woods and they're just trespassing. What kind of crazy people do that? I don't go up to random people's fences and just jump it and walk on their land. It makes no sense. So, people, first of all, don't lead the kids to trespassing. Second of all, teach them not to trespass. That's crazy pants. And here they come, coming back through, those same people. And look, they had a machete and they're chopping down my trees. Uh, yeah, how about I just go to somebody's random land and chop down their trees? That makes no sense. And this is on June 1st. I was not home. I asked my wife. We were not home that day when they happened to be trespassing. Or otherwise, I would have called them. There's no way. You literally have to access the land here right by my house. And that's all we got there. So. Ah, uh, that was the trespassers file. That's funny. Also hopped up about trespassers. Now, this is the one I meant to click on. Creek Crossing. So, this one's got some good pictures, not just trespassers. Ooh, this is a video. Look at that. I'm going to put this in close for you guys. This is the one that really had my heart going. This is just after deer season ended, February the 8th on a spot that I hunted quite frequently and look at that big boy he's just saying hey check me out deer season's over and I got a big old monster rack but I think that that is that eight pointer we have in velvet this year I'm pretty sure that's the same deer if it's not then they're related but there he goes just moseying up I hunted this area quite a bit this past year but I didn't catch him Here's another video. Oh, there's a buck. That's a six pointer. He just barely got caught on camera in that video. And then what do we got here? That is that same six pointer. It took a picture of him right here. Then we got a doe right in front of the camera then we got some deer back over here in the creek we got a buck who had already dropped his antlers I love it when they're up close like that that's a buck you can see his antlers had dropped and then here is a video look at that buck oh man that's so pretty I love seeing those videos. And here's his little buck friend down here. This is in May where their antlers are growing back. Man, that's so pretty. There's a picture of those same two deer. Yeah, there's those trespassers. Bunch of kids. Here's a deer. This is a cool video. What's weird here, if you look here, there's a dog or a coyote. 
that runs up through here. But then it's like, then here comes a deer, like almost like the deer is chasing the dog. And it's so weird, but that's pretty random. We got a picture of a doe right here. Can't tell what that is. And then there's that buck. He's got some velvet there. Pretty, pretty sweet. Now, I could, I could look at deer pictures all day. There's a doe right in front of the camera. There's that buck. I think that may be that big buck. This is in July. His antlers might not have been grown out big yet, but. Oh, this is a video. Check this out, guys. Yeah, so he's a decent little eight pointer for the middle of the summertime. Still growing his antlers. Pretty sweet. But, 324, is that the last one? Yep, that's all we got from that spot. Then, we have one more spot way in the back. Let's see how many files I got here. I'll run you guys through a few of these here. These are, looks like all videos. And this is a cheap Walmart camera, but for what it is, it does pretty good. There's your turkeys, Randall. It's long beards. These are three long beards coming through here. They're in a hurry after something, but I think they come back here in a minute. Yeah, here they come back. Those all have, I don't know, eight, ten inch beards. That's a fat one right there. There's your turkeys, Randall. Oops, why I click out that way? There's a blue heron. I thought that was pretty cool, even though there's a water drop on the screen. There's more turkeys crossing the same spot. There's a blue heron head again across the bottom of the screen. This is like a $20 Walmart camera. Actually pretty decent. And there's a deer. Can't really tell what it is. This was on March the 27th. That looks like it's a buck who's lost his antlers. Then there's the blue heron again. Then there's an armadillo. Look here on the bottom. Armadillo in the nighttime. Tennessee armadillo. Then there's a bobcat. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see the bobcats. Raccoon. Stinking raccoons. Then there's a buck. This is May 21st. And what we got going here? Why did I save this one? I don't see anything. Hmm, I must have saved the wrong files. Anyways, here's that soccer mom I was telling you about. Look at that. Right in front of my trail camera. Putting the bandana on. Bringing those kids. Chopping down my trees. Not cool. Didn't even see my cameras. There they go. There's some chick with them. Not cool. And there they go. And the night time. It's dark out. And they're walking back the other way. There's another deer. June the 2nd. Two deer. Ooh, a buck. That's a buck. Ooh, yeah. Look at that big boy. Yeah, buddy. That was on June the 17th. Walking through the creek. And this is the same day. That smaller one following him. Same small buck. And they caught the bobcat again. And there's some more trespassers. Pretty ridiculous. And then that's it. 
I think. Let me make sure. Yeah, July the 4th. Suckers trespassing on my land. And another day I was not home or I would have caught those people. But thanks for watching the video today, guys. That was a long one, but I always love checking the trail cameras. Let me know if you guys like seeing all that stuff. I love to watch the deer especially. But a big shout out to the Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors channel. Check the links down below. I'll see if I can put some trail cameras in there. If you guys want to see the cheap ones or the expensive ones that I got out in the woods. I'll show you guys which ones I got. But big shout out to the Heavy Metal channel. Good friends of mine. Go check them out and subscribe to their channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hoodoo!